Hey, Bethel Church family, I want to thank y'all again for having me out. wanted to leave y'all with a thought to think about from uh, our sermon together in John 6. We said that... We, talk, we talked about this idea of evangelistic yeah rights, right? Like God can never do something in that person's life. Uh, and I think that that reflects something we often think and believe about God and we limit God. And a question we might ask is who are we to limit God? Who am I to limit God, right? Uh, and I want to get at this idea of limiting God uh, because I think that often shows up in our prayer life. So let me give you the headline right up front, the exhortation right up front. Here it is, pray big prayers. Pray big prayers. You have a big God, a God who is bigger than the universe. He made it. Uh, He is above the heavens, the psalm says. Pray big prayers. And I think we often limit God in our prayers. We ask him for things we need help with, but we're pretty sure we can do. And rarely do we ask God for things that we don't think we can do or that we don't think can be done. And I want to challenge you and encourage you to pray big prayers and to not grow weary of praying. Um, the, The parable in Luke 18 of the persistent widow is so helpful for us because it challenges us to keep knocking on God's door. But pray big prayers. I think often Hebrews 4 talks about let us with confidence draw near to the throne of grace. And I think often, as even as Christians, we we approach the throne of confidence timidly. We're like, ah, I don't really know what I'm saying, what I'm doing, if I should be here, or if I deserve to be here. And that's just the wonder. You don't deserve to be there, but Jesus does. That's, that's why we pray in Jesus' name. Uh, we come in his stead. We come. He is covering us, and we can ask big things of God. He is gracious. He has an infinite supply of grace. The demand of our sin and the demand of our need could never deplete, outrun, or outlast the supply of his grace. And God is as generous as he is rich in grace, meaning he is happy to share. So so what I want to encourage you to do as we think about praying for people who seem far from the Lord or praying for a, a situation that seems impossible. Impossible is not a word in God's vocabulary. He is like, that's easy for me, in fact. So do not lobby puny prayers into the courtroom of heaven. Ask big because you have a big God who loves you and who wants to answer your prayers uh, in his time and in his way, which is another sermon that maybe I'll preach here someday. Love y'all. Thank y'all again.